Hey, what's going on guys? Dopesunner930 here, and tonight I'm going to be recording a few videos in regards to 3D printing. I'm using my Canon point-and-shoot versus my DSLR, um, so hopefully you guys can see me and hear me alright. I know the video quality is pretty good, I don't know how the mic differentiates. Um, honestly, the only reason why my phone's going off. The only reason why I'm using it um, instead of my DSLR is more so laziness. I didn't feel like setting up the big camera right now for whatever reasoning. But in this quick video, I'm going to talk to you guys about my personal reasoning for using PLA over ABS um, and maybe a little bit of the differences between the two. Um, basically, if you are looking into getting into 3D printing or you do 3D printing or anything like that, um, the two main filaments, which are the spools or rolls of plastic you're going to be using, are going to be either PLA or ABS. Now, there are other types. So there's like nylon, there's Ninja Flex, like other rubbery type filaments, but those are the two most common ones that you'll have. Um, now, PLA and ABS, again, why would you want one or the other? Now, most of what I'm telling you guys, again, it's not 100% factual. I'm by no means a professional. I'm just a hobbyist, and this is from what I understand and from what I know. Um, basically, ABS, the only thing I could understand for reasoning why you'd want to use it more so is that it's a little bit more durable in terms of like temperature and moisture and things like that. It's a little bit more durable. So depending on what you're printing, maybe you'd want that. Um, but I print, at least as of right now, 100% in PLA. I've also read that ABS might be easier um, if you're messing with like um, connectors, like screws of some sort and things like that. Again, not 100% sure on that, but that's kind of what I've been reading. Um, now, I've only used ABS uh, one spool of it, and that's when I first got my 3D printer, um, which is the DaVinci 1.0A, um, which is like a kind of upgraded version of it. Um, and I only used it because it came with it. And basically, the things I didn't like about ABS was one, the smell. Um, to me, it was pretty gnarly. You'd walk into my room and it would smell like a sweatshop almost. Like, you'd have that plastic burning, melting smell, which just didn't seem good, didn't seem um, probably like the healthiest to breathe in. While PLA is more eco-friendly, it's made out of like mostly degradable things. Like, um, don't again, don't quote me on it, but I read it's made out of like different like vegetable type things, like corn extract and things like that. So again, kind of like a healthier, in my mind, option. And I'm sure, um, you know, hopefully the fumes it's giving off aren't as dangerous to be breathing in. So you walk in my room now. You don't smell anything. If you do, it's like a very faint smell. Definitely nothing where you're like, oh my god, this is overpowering or this just smells bad. So I really like that. That's a huge thing for me is that my room is not, not constantly smelling like burnt plastic or melted plastic. Now, the second major thing is that when you're using ABS, you have to use a heated bed. If you don't use a heated bed, you're going to have a thing called curling where basically the bottom of the print will kind of curl upwards if you don't use a heated bed. You have to have a heated bed so that way the first few layers at least are seated nicely and stick to the bed. Otherwise you'll have curling which basically will destroy your print if you're doing anything that has to be exact or it'll make it look really just bad. So um, with PLA you don't actually have to use a heated bed. Um, I did use a heated bed at the beginning of PLA um, because I was getting kind of I was testing things out and I was trying to see what gave me the best results, um, but now I have it pretty much 100% dialed in with no heated bed whatsoever. The main reason, in all honesty, I stopped using a heated bed, especially right now, was because my buddy, who had a DaVinci 1.0, who got rid of his actually, he was the reason I got this machine, he had one and I wanted one, um, his bed cracked a complete crack across the glass and that was due to the stress of the bed heating up and cooling down. It just cracked it. The, the, it was too, I don't know, extreme or whatever in the glass. And this machine for the price you're paying has a lot of like kind of, in my opinion, cheaper style components which is how they're able to cut the cost so much and the heating bed on his cracked. And so once that happened, I was like, oh shit, I don't want to deal with that. Of course you can replace it. There's third party beds. You can get your own sheet of glass kind of cut and rig it. I didn't want to deal with that personally, so um, because of that, again, now I don't heat up the bed whatsoever. Um, so yeah, those are some of the differences and personally the reason why I use PLA over ABS. I will be building another printer um, not too far from now hopefully, which I think I will probably do a non-heated bed as well, but then maybe upgrade it to a heated bed if I want to do PLA and other filaments that require a heated bed. Uh, but for now, for PLA, again, I'm extremely happy with it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, none of these things are like scientific or necessarily 100% factual. These are just from what I know and from what I've researched. I've only been messing with 3D printers 
for about four months or so, but I've been pretty heavily involved and printed out a lot of things and done a lot of research, so again, this is what I know. Um, anyways, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below and I will try my best to answer. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I also will be doing a video soon showing you, like right after this actually, um, on my settings and stuff like that and showing off some of my PLA prints and how I've gotten them dialed in on my DaVinci 1.0a if you're interested in figuring out and um, learning, you know, a little bit more. So, uh, Dopesetter930, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace, guys.